in a number of spiritual paths. Your deeper questions might find answers in a session in the pastor's study. You're looking for something more, so let's offer you something different. Merry meet, blessed be. I'm Aiden Odinson, and welcome once again to another session in a very different pastor's study. I hope you enjoyed last week's Memorial Day service. I did. It, in spite of all the work that went into it, more than usual, of course, because Lady Stormy being in the hospital, I had to take care of that. And I have a day job and a bunch of other stuff. But I decided when I first got into this podcasting thing that I was going to do it as professionally as I could. And so therefore, so therefore, there's a schedule. And I should follow that schedule. Now, a few things have come up. Some having to do with the things that happened to Lady Stormy while she was in the hospital and then in the place that they call a rehabilitation center and a few other things that brought back memories and it occurred to me might be a good time to talk about those times when you're feeling tempted to just tell somebody it's payback time it's payback time now is it that you're in a fairly senior position at work and you get a resume in from somebody who's looking for a job and it just happens to sound like the kid that bullied you in school? Or is it somebody who told you or somebody you cared about something that they weren't quite authorized to say but you felt like following, you were going to have to follow through on that anyway? because they looked like they were in authority, they sounded like they were in authority, but they weren't in authority, and what they told you was not so. Or any of a number of reasons. You work in a tall building, but you're on one of the lower floors, and to get out of the building you've got to watch as several other cars go by and won't let you in onto the elevator because there's too many people there already. Any number of reasons. You've got your own. You know. So just think about those. And think also about the magic that's available to us and the spiritual power and energy that's available to us. And I remember one, one time I scared the living daylights out of a boss of mine. All I did was say, with all my military experience behind me, I found that I could do more with an altar than I could with a gun. Yeah, it's true. We have all this available to us. But, what are we going to do? Now, number one, I can tell you this. And there are some fluff bunnies and Pollyannas that will argue with me on this, but the divine does not expect you to be a doormat. The divine does not expect you to be walked upon. 
and you just sit there praying. Do, 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 do. No, 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 that's not it. That's not it. But at the same time, the divine expects you to use some wisdom. Yeah. I've had the experience of somebody putting their face in mine and saying, and what are you going to do about it? And occasionally somebody who has some idea of who I am or happens to notice the pentagram ring that I'm wearing will say, what are you going to do? Turn me into a frog? And I have been so tempted to say, I can't turn you into a frog, but guess what's not going to happen for you tonight? Or something like that. Yeah. So what do you do? Well, I can tell you, I don't think I'm speaking for the divine. I don't think I'm overstepping my authority by saying this. I'm speaking just for me, Iden Odinson, one priest's opinion. I think that the divine would appreciate it if we used some wisdom. It's, if you want an example, in the mundane world, once upon a time, a course of study that I was involved with included going to the Los Angeles Police Department Academy and seeing what kind of training was being done there. And one question we asked one of the training instructors was, we know what we're told so far as how you shoot. Do you teach shoot to kill, shoot to wound, or what? And the answer was, shoot to stop. We asked, what do you mean? Stop the person from doing what it is that caused you to fire that round. Okay. And what we want here is if somebody is doing us something wrong, we want them to stop. Now, we got several options available. One which I considered Pollyanna when I first heard of it, but I've learned it is anything but. And that is, give it to the divine. The divine will know all sides of the story. The divine might have some creative way of dealing with that person that you don't know about. Such as the young wise guy at work who's almost old and almost as old as your son and acts like you don't know anything about the business that you've been involved in for 30 years and he's got a brand new MBA. those kind of people. Or any of a number of others. Or there's the one that you can't quite identify. Or this the one that you can't quite reach out to. Very appropriate. I find that usually pronouncements or telling people doesn't work. Besides, to dare to know, to will, to keep silent. You know what I said about to keep silent and why. So, pronouncements usually are not appropriate. You'll know when it is, but it very rarely is. And so, I have a justice chant that I sometimes use. 
I'm very careful with it. Because I have to know that my own house is clean. Otherwise it might backfire on me. But I've never had a problem with calling on whoever it is that I want to call on. Here's the situation. Can you help me? What do we do about it? I'm usually given an answer in plenty of time before I run out of patience. And certainly before I run out of the wherewithal I need to abide. It's something that we all face, one way or another, except for those few of us who are blessed with living in fluff bunny land or the Pollyanna paradise. The rest of us, you know what I mean. So I thought I'd give you this little bit just in case somebody else out there is looking for an answer like that. I'm Aiden, blessed be. Uriel's Gifts and the Secrets in Plain Sight are sponsored by the Temple of Gaia. At Temple of Gaia, we don't train you to our path. We show you how to find and pursue your own path. Above all, we try to provide a great place to come together and to share. We're located in Collingdale, Pennsylvania, just outside of Philadelphia, and wherever cyberspace can be reached. To learn more, visit our website at templeofgaiainc.org or our meeting place in cyberspace at templeofgaia.ning.com. Thank you for coming. Feel free to return at any time. We intend to always have something for you here. Blessed be. This has been a presentation of the Wise Ones Net. Merry part and blessed be.